Unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, are ideal for missions that are too dangerous, too long, or too expensive for piloted aircraft. NASA's science and exploration goals have inspired a small business in Manassas, Virginia, to push the envelope of what computer-controlled aircraft can do. Aurora's probably biggest contribution has been the concept and the practice that these things could be used for scientific research. Global climate change is a huge issue. It's really the issue that Aurora was founded on. It continues to be a major issue today. It's a role that NASA can play uniquely in the future. Founded in 1989, Aurora Flight Science's first contract was to develop a fuel cell powered high altitude long endurance propulsion system for unmanned aircraft. The project was funded through a NASA Small Business Innovation Research or SBIR contract with Ames Research Center. Since that first successful venture, Aurora has worked on SBIR projects with all 10 NASA field centers. In the 1990s, Glenn Research Center collaborated with Aurora to develop a single lever power control that could be used for both UAVs and piloted aircraft. The effort resulted in a system that made aircraft easier to operate and improved fuel consumption over 20%. NASA incorporated the technology into their Advanced General Aviation Transport Experiment, or AGAT program, with hopes that similar technology may one day help people fly airplanes as easily as they drive cars. Aurora also developed a series of advanced unmanned aircraft as test beds for NASA's ERAST, or Environmental Research Aircraft and Sensor Technology Program. The program, based at NASA's Dryden Research Center, helped validate and mature propulsion, avionics, and command and control systems technology for UAVs. One of the real objectives of the whole community, I think, is to develop what we call the man-rated unmanned airplane, something that's reliable enough that people could travel on board these airplanes and there would be operators involved and probably on board, but not pilots in the sense that you and I think of pilots today. Now, we're a ways away from doing that, but it is, it is coming. The UAV development expertise home through NASA partnerships has helped Aurora earn numerous customers across the aviation industry, including major contractors for the Army, Navy, Air Force, and DARPA. In 1998, Aurora spun off its flight control technology group into a new company called Athena Technologies. In 2008, Rockwell Collins acquired Athena, and today technologies from both Athena and Aurora are used in many of the world's most advanced computer-controlled aircraft. In 2010, NASA started using Northrop Grumman's Global Hawk UAVs for science missions. The aircraft, which NASA acquired from the Air Force, features composite structures built in Aurora's West Virginia facility. These unmanned planes can fly at altitudes roughly twice as high as a commercial airline and to distances up to half the circumference of Earth. In missions like this, UAVs are proving to be a revolutionary tool for understanding how human-induced and natural changes affect our global environment.